Good afternoon, everyone. We've reached a quorum. It looks like we've had many people join. This is excellent. So we'll go ahead and begin. I'd like to welcome all of our webinar guests to How to Use SAP PPM Closed Loop Resource Management. This is the first of four PPM webinars that will be held in 2012. In addition, besides this, and we'll hit on this at the end, there's a PLM four webinars as well, one each quarter. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. My name is John Hoover, I'm the PPM Delivery Manager for Deontes, Inc., and I'll be the webinar facilitator today. Uh, with me, I have Ian Strain at SAP, and I have Tom Martin, our Director of PLM and PPM Practice here at Deontes, Inc., and I'll be the primary presenters today. Our agenda today is some brief introductions. Uh, common CIO questions, quite a bit on maturity level. And then we'll go over the benefits case. We're going to do a live system demo with Tom Martin driving that. We're going to go through our rapid solutions offerings with SAP and Giansis and our upcoming webinars and we'll open it up to questions at the end. With that, I'd like to introduce Ian Strain from SAP to go ahead and introduce himself. We'll be talking for a few moments. Ian, it's over to you. Thanks very much, John, and uh, welcome, everybody. Um, I, I was really pleased to uh, get this invitation from the uh, team at uh, Giansis. Um, um, one of the, the primary reasons is that we really are looking to build and, and expand the uh, PPM uh, community across uh, North America. And, that's going to be the, the theme of uh, what I cover. But just to uh, introduce myself, I work in the uh, PLM line of business, and my particular specialization is uh, project and portfolio management. And my role is uh, center of excellence for the uh, PPM family of products within um, SAP. So uh, moving ahead, I really wanted to cover three main points before uh, I hand it over to Tom to get into the, the main part of the uh, webinar. Uh, one is, the, the the first point is there are more things that bind us as part of the PPM community than uh, differentiate ourselves. And I just want to cover some of the common pain points that we all feel and some of the goals and aspirations that we're all um, driving towards. Uh, next theme is really look at the uh, business scenarios where PPM uh, is applied and some of those trends and business, uh, sorry, some of the trends in those business scenarios we've seen change over the years and I just want to spend a couple of minutes focusing on that. And then the last point is really, uh, as I mentioned, looking to, to build and expand the uh, PPM community. So I just want to go over some of the events. Um, some of the activities around community building that we're looking at and uh, introduce a, a new benchmarking survey that uh, is literally hot off the press from SAP. So looking at uh, the pain points, and the main focus of today's uh, webinar is around resource management. So I get out um, on the road uh, pretty well every week, either doing discovery calls with um, prospective uh, customers and existing customers and also doing briefings. But I hear the same kind of things from everybody that uh, is looking to address you know, the challenges and mature their um, stance and their position with respect to project and portfolio management. And, you know, some of these are, are listed here. I'm not going to read off all of them. But certainly from an IT project and portfolio management, resource management uh, resource allocation, resource utilization are the key pain points that, that we see in addressing the challenges of, uh, of IT. Uh, another uh, common thing that I hear constantly is that, you know, we've got all these projects, but I really don't have visibility into my entire portfolio and where that links to the strategic direction, either of IT as a business or um, corporate initiatives as well. So visibility uh, is another one of those key pain points. When we look towards um, the goals and aspirations of addressing and maturing uh, the, the posture for PPM, I'd say the, the top of the list is that concept. I know it's uh, an often used phrase, but that, that concept of single source of truth. 
a number of organizations are trying to manage their uh, portfolio of programs, initiatives, projects, uh, other spreadsheets, and other kind of disparate um, data stores. But that doesn't allow everybody in the organization to collaborate and see one version of the truth. So the solution set that we're exploring and recommending you know, does that. It pulls everything related to the project portfolio, whether they're prospective projects or in-flight projects or historic projects. Then having one place to go and have that data all connected together is a key point. Another major thing I hear all the time uh, as an aspiration is that concept of linking what uh, IT is doing in support of the strategic direction of uh, the business. So trying to get away from you know, doing the, the most popular uh, projects or doing the squeaky wheel projects, but really you know, deciding which projects get kicked off and funded based on a link to the strategic goals and initiatives of either the business of IT or, as I said, across the overall corporation. Uh, next uh, thing I'd like to cover is the, the kind of trends that we're seeing in the overall world of um, project and portfolio management. I think if you look from uh, the perspective of the analyst community, typically their coverage of this space was all related to IT portfolio management and very little attention was paid to you know, one of the uh, fastest growing and biggest impact areas of uh, project and portfolio management is managing the overall capital portfolio and particularly for uh, businesses that have high performing assets such as utilities, oil and gas, transportation. So we're saying that PPM is becoming you know, a, a, a driver uh, within those style of organizations. Uh, another kind of classical um, area for the adoption of PPM is in um, new product development and introduction. And I'd say that that is a kind of classical PLM uh, use of uh, PPM. And another one that we're starting to see uh, you know, come on very strongly over the last uh, 18 months, I'd say, is PPM in support of professional services organizations and uh, program management where uh, you're not only looking to manage uh, projects, but manage customer relationships and uh, the revenue attached to uh, professional services engagements. Um, and I'd say along with the capital portfolio management, uh, the professional services trend is probably the, um, the, the two fastest growing that we're seeing. So moving on to... Um, this sense of uh, community. I, I really want to just spend a couple of minutes introducing a new benchmark survey that um, SAP is launching right now. We're looking to um, collect a substantial amount of uh, data for North America, in fact, uh, on a global basis, so that we can uh, build out the maturity model that's embedded within the uh, survey and then provide a service to uh, existing customers of PPM to, so they can benchmark themselves against uh, other organizations and particularly within their industry, but also people that are looking to adopt uh, PPM. What are the best practices? What are the key performance indicators that really drive uh, the value of adopting PPM and to assist in the adoption of uh, PPM? So uh, anybody in the um, audience that would uh, like to find out more, then certainly um, reach out to the team at Chiansis or, or me and we'd uh, be uh, delighted to kind of engage you, um, provide more information on the survey and uh, help you fill it out if uh, that's something you would want to contribute to. Uh, looking at uh, a calendar of events this year, um, we've got a number of PPM-focused um, activities, both from an SAP's perspective and our partners. And uh, you know, Jansis uh, are running pretty well uh, a monthly uh, webinar series throughout uh, the year. If you kind of take out holiday periods, then PLM and PPM are going to be covered. Uh, other partners are doing the same thing. Um, the SAP-centric EAM conference um, coming up uh, shortly. Uh, again, maybe you wouldn't necessarily uh, connect PPM to uh, enterprise asset uh, management, but uh, I'll say PPM is becoming a fundamental part of being able to manage high-performing um, assets. So uh, we're expanding our presence 